Not every company out there was meant to be around forever. It was only a matter of time before they went bankrupt or closed up shops. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And if you follow me on this channel, if you don't, you should. Uh, if you do follow me on this channel, you know how true that is because I cover a wide variety of topics. Personal things, gaming, uh, news, movies, politics, which I really hate. And even gig economy stuff. Um... This is not a gig economy, uh, uh, you know, a, a gig channel. You know, there are channels dedicated to this type of stuff. Uh, but I just like covering a wide variety of type of things. And this is something uh, in regards to Postmates, uh, which uh, I have been doing. Not lately. I've not been doing Postmates lately. Um, some of that has to do with the change that they've made in their um, their pay structure. They used to have like a minimum of four dollars, no no matter what, you at least got a, a minimum of four dollars, and then tips on top of that. And now they got rid of that. Um, and I've been wanting to do a video that will compare the new model with the old model. Uh, I just haven't haven't done it. It's kind of a it's probably a moot moot point uh now uh but there's this whole thing with uh postmates has been wanting to go public on the market uh for a while now and now it looks like they might be selling to uber uh which i also do uber eats and doordash i also do that instead of going public uh just kind of right off the bat, Amazon, uh, I do Amazon Flex as well. I've got like four different gig jobs that I work on uh, to bring in some extra money. And some of it's for my hobby, which is Flight Simulator. But um, Amazon used to do food delivery. Maybe Amazon should think about picking up Postmates. I kind of wonder if they're going to. Or if they've even thought about it because their little food delivery uh, thing did not work out so well but if they get something that's already established like Postmates maybe they can make it better anyway food delivery prices labor rights and the state of the IPO market are all at stake for Postmates I don't think Postmates is doing very well uh, half a dozen American food delivery companies are battling for dominance Consolidation seems inevitable. The U.S. doesn't need so many venture-backed companies and an industry defined by low margin, similar services, and fickle customer loyalty, not to, uh, not to mention some bad pay for drivers, uh, and yet no end has appeared in sight. Um, well, you need to have competition. You need to have competition. But Recode, that's the name of this website, has learned that one of the most prominent of these startups, Postmates, has explored a sale instead of becoming a standalone public company, which it announced plans to do in February. Staring at a public market has, that has been unkind toward consumer IPOs like Lyft and Uber, Uber's act Lyft is not doing so well on the market. Uber is actually starting to do well. Um, I've bought a couple of shares in Lyft um, it's still in the negative uh, and I bought a couple of shares in Uber and that actually is making some money not much like maybe five bucks or something <laughs> um, I'm just holding on to them for the long term but anyway Postmates in recent months had persistent talks with many of the likeliest acquirers in the space including DoorDash Walmart and Uber which operates Uber Eats according to multiple sources the clearest sign that Postmates, which was expected to be the next hot consumer industry IPO, has seriously considered a sale. I think they're. I think if they if they went public, their stock would probably go down. I don't think it would help at all. It has been working with 
Quetalist Partners, the boutique investment bank famous for selling tech companies, people familiar with the matter told Recode. Um, let's just take a look at something here. Uh, Grubhub is a uh, another food delivery service. Uh, that's one that I have not been able to get with uh, because the market is so saturated with Grubhub drivers that I was on a waiting list and well, I never heard anything back. But <coughs> let's take a look at their stock. Okay, I went ahead and turned off my face cam here so you could see this whole screen. But uh, Grubhub, this is a, f a five year um, stretched out for five years. It doesn't go back that far, but you can see they're kind of nah, 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 but it shot up here in July of 2018 um, and then kind of fell from there. Part of this is because the market was struggling as a whole right around this time. Um, but also, I don't know, Grubhub has been having its own problems. Uh, they've been changing things around as far as uh, drivers are concerned, as far as pay, and it's been kind of making people kind of angry. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's I'm not so sure if getting uh, stock in Grubhub is, is really a good idea or not, especially uh, with companies, especially with the competition that is out there. And uh, I think DoorDash was supposed to go public and they may or may not uh, go public or not. Let me just out of curiosity, let's see. This is Yahoo Finance, in case you're wondering. Yeah, see, DoorDash is private, um, it doesn't have anything. So, uh, but they may become public and they may not have to. But yeah, I mean, as you can see with Grubhub, um, they've been kind of falling there and Grubhub is more popular than Postmates I at least based on what I've read so I don't think Postmates would do very good um, Postmates spokesperson said it disputed Recode's reporting but declined to specify on the record what the company actually was disputing company pointed to second measure data that show Postmates is growing faster than Uber Eats and Grubhub nationally. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, I think Postmates is struggling. Uh, and they're cutting money from drivers to try to pocket a little bit more money, but they're changing things around to make it look like they're doing a favor for drivers. So, I don't know. Eventually, you'll probably see some consolidation. I think we always like to think a few steps ahead, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, why does this matter? Well, an acquisition could affect the prices that Americans pay for food delivery. On one hand, it could allow for dominant players like Uber Eats to achieve cost savings that would make your dinner cheaper. Or maybe it would remove needed competition and allow middlemen to, middlemen to raise your prices. Or maybe they'll just pay drivers a lot less money uh, than they already are. Uh, speaking of which, if you use any of these services, please tip your driver. Tip your driver and don't do it through the app. Tip them in cash. Tip them in cash. Because things like DoorDash, they guarantee a minimum, but that's assuming that they get tips. So they, 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 uh, they guarantee a minimum of $5, but they only pay $1 per delivery. So if you tip $3 um, through through the app for DoorDash, uh, the driver doesn't really see that tip. They're just going to get a $5 minimum is all they're going to get. If you tip that money in cash, then that's theirs. So your tip money actually goes to the driver. Uh, the only the only way that your tip money actually makes a difference is if let's say you tip five dollars, you know, then they'll get like a dollar over that minimum. But still, your tip money should not be should should not be making up for that minimum. So tip your drivers in cash. It will be a lot better. Um, and as far as the other other services, 
uh, like Uber Eats and Postmates. You can tip through the app on there. Um, I don't believe that they're, I, at least from what I've seen with those two companies, they don't steal tips like what DoorDash does. Um, but to be honest with you, if if you if you want to know that your money is going to the driver, then yeah, just pay them in cash. It'd be a lot better, uh, a lot better for them. And just in general, just tip the driver. They really are not making money, uh, a lot of money off of this stuff. Um, they're using their gas, they're using their vehicle. And it's just common courtesy. I mean, they're going to get your food. Give them a tip. And I don't mean like a tip. Hey, let me give you a tip, man. You should actually get a real job. No, not that type of tip. A tip with money. But anyway, as far as that's concerned, uh, Postmates appears still slated to head public. I don't think it's going to go well if they do. Either way, this acquisition talks helps explain why Postmates, five months after stating very publicly that it might not do that, and et cetera, et cetera. This kind of goes on for quite a bit here, so I'm not going to go over this whole thing, but uh, the link uh, to this article will be in the description se uh, section, so you can look at it in more detail if you'd like, but this is kind of a general run-through about the whole thing. Um, let me know what you think about this. Uh, do you do food delivery? Have you used it? Uh, do you drive for it? Do you drive for Postmates, uh, DoorDash, all of the above? Uh, let me know. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you're new, subscribe. Got all kinds of videos on this channel. And they're not all news related like this. I got some gaming ones and I got some music videos on here as well. Um, I'm always looking to try to do some new types of things to kind of reach out to different viewers out there. So I uh, hope you'll subscribe and that way you'll know when I get some new stuff up. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you on another rambling video.